Hello and welcome to Factified Daily, where we bring you interesting facts and stories from around the world. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the top 10 billionaires who lost everything. These are individuals who, at one point in time, were some of the wealthiest people in the world, but their fortunes took a dramatic turn for the worse. So, let's get started. Number 10. Christina Onassis Christina Onassis was the daughter of the Greek shipping magnate Aristotle Onassis. She inherited a vast fortune from her father when he died in 1975. However, Christina's life was marred by tragedy and misfortune. She struggled with drug addiction and a tumultuous personal life. In 1988, she died at the age of 37 from a heart attack, leaving behind a string of failed marriages and a depleted fortune. Number 9. Sean Quinn Sean Quinn was once the richest man in Ireland with a net worth of $6 billion. He made his fortune in the insurance and cement industries. However, his empire collapsed during the 2008 financial crisis. Quinn had invested heavily in Anglo-Irish Bank, which collapsed during the crisis, leading to Quinn's personal bankruptcy. Number 8. Alan Stanford Alan Stanford was a billionaire businessman who was convicted of running a Ponzi scheme that defrauded investors of $7 billion. Stanford founded Stanford Financial Group in 1995 and used it to market fraudulent certificates of deposit to investors. In 2012, he was sentenced to 110 years in prison and ordered to forfeit $5.9 billion in assets. Number 7. Vijay Malia Vijay Malia was once the king of good times in India, with a net worth of $1.2 billion. However, his Kingfisher Airlines went bankrupt in 2012, leading to Malia's personal bankruptcy. Malia was forced to flee the country amid allegations of financial impropriety. Number 6. Jorgolfer Goodmanson Jorgolfer Goodmanson was an Icelandic billionaire who made his fortune in the banking industry. However, his financial empire collapsed during the 2008 financial crisis, leading to his personal bankruptcy. Goodmanson was heavily invested in the Icelandic real estate market, which suffered a major collapse during the crisis. Number 5. Elizabeth Holmes Elizabeth Holmes was the founder and CEO of Theranos, a now-defunct blood-testing startup that was once valued at $9 billion. However, the technology was later exposed as fraudulent, and the company's claims were debunked. In 2018, Holmes and the company's COO were charged with multiple counts of fraud, and the company was forced to shut down. Number 4. Ike Batista Ike Batista was once the richest man in Brazil, with a net worth of $30 billion in 2012. However, his wealth was largely tied to his oil and gas empire, OGX, which went bankrupt in 2013, leading to Batista's personal bankruptcy. Number 3. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn Wildenstein was a former socialite who gained notoriety for her extensive plastic surgeries. She was married to Alec Wildenstein, a billionaire art dealer, and inherited a significant portion of his fortune when they divorced. However, she squandered much of her fortune on plastic surgery and a lavish lifestyle, eventually filing for bankruptcy in 2018. Number 2. Robert Maxwell Robert Maxwell was a British media mogul who owned several newspapers and publishing companies. However, he was accused of embezzlement and fraud, and his empire collapsed in the early 1990s. Number 1. Bernard Madoff Bernard Madoff was an American financier who orchestrated the largest Ponzi scheme in history. Madoff's investment company, Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities LLC, defrauded investors of an estimated $65 billion. Madoff was arrested in 2008 and sentenced to 150 years in prison. His sons also faced legal trouble in connection to the scheme. Madoff's victims included individuals, charities, and institutional investors who lost their life savings. These are the top 10 billionaires who lost everything. Their stories serve as cautionary tales about the perils of unchecked greed, fraud, and mismanagement. While some of these individuals may have lived extravagant lifestyles, their downfall reminds us that wealth is never a guarantee of happiness or success. Thank you for watching Factified Daily, and we'll see you in the next episode.